The encrypting file system is the capability of encrypting files and folders. Now I want to be very careful about uh, how I say this. It is not used for encrypting entire drives. It is used for encrypting an individual file or a folder or a set of files and folders. It is a function of NTFS. It is not part of the FAT32 file system or any of the other uh, in the family of the FAT family uh, of, uh, uh, of file systems. However, as I pointed out up here earlier, Windows 10 does provide for EFS today on FAT32 drives. However, that is a function of Windows 10, not a function of the FAT32 file system. EFS uses symmetric encryption. We talked about symmetric encryption up in here. It uses the same key to both encrypt and decrypt data. Why? Because Why do we use it? Because it's very fast. We can encrypt and decrypt a very large drive. Let's say that you have a uh, two gigabyte file. You don't want that to lag in encrypting and decrypting. You want it to be fast. So we use symmetric encryption. Asymmetric encryption is rather slow. However, the key for the symmetric encryption is also encrypted, and it's uh, encrypted using the asymmetric uh, encryption. It's more secure, but it's slower, but this way we can keep the key um, protected from uh, eyes that we don't want to see it. Now, the, the uh, final effect is that the encrypted file is readable only by the user who encrypted it. So if I'm on as Roger on my computer and I encrypt a folder, then you log on as Fred. Fred cannot read the encryption key for that EFS folder. Only Roger can because it's stored uh, on the system. By, by the way, it's stored by the TPM chip, um, which I think we talked about in an earlier lesson. So the TPM chip stores that for Roger only and not for Fred. And so when Roger's logged on, I've automatically given permission to be able to access that key. The EFS encrypted file system is indicated by a small lock on the folder and icon in Windows 10. Now this question has been on uh, the MTA in the past. However, I don't know that you'll see it today. And that is because uh, I've noticed with Windows 10, it's not necessarily true. So I'm going to open this one here. This is on my hard drive and I have a, a new folder here and I'm just going to right click that new folder and go down to properties and advanced and you'll see I have compression and encryption. If I check the encryption box and close this, you notice I don't have a lock on this. So uh, this may be changing with Windows 10, so I'm not sure if you'll see that um, or not. However, if it is compressed, it is still showing uh, the compression, something for the compression here. You see these little little blue dots up here. I don't really know what they're supposed to represent. So this is a compressed folder, uh, whereas um, if it's encrypted, uh, I don't notice any difference in changing color or anything like that. Uh, no little lock on it anymore in Windows 10. However, it was true with earlier versions. All right, so I gave you how to find what I just showed you how to find in here, and I'm not going to go through this in detail, but you would right click, go to properties, and so on. All right, oh, by the way, this, was, this is important. It would not work on another machine. So because it's not stored in the TPM on that other machine, um, then if I take my hard drive out and, and uh, run it, say, off of a Linux uh, disk or put it in some other computer, I would still not be able to read that encrypted folder. Uh, so it's really good for you know, theft of hard drives and that kind of thing to keep things secure.